Hey folks, welcome to the exchange video. Now a lot of people don't even know what exchange is or what it does or the benefits of it. So I'll start by explaining that a lot of businesses are still using pop email. Pop is where your email downloads from the server and you keep it in your outlook and you have to back it up yourself. And there's no synchronizing. It doesn't synchronize with the server. It doesn't synchronize with your iPhones. Another email platform is called IMAP. And IMAP does synchronize with your phone and Outlook, but it only does email. It doesn't do the contacts and calendars and notes and your tasks and all that. So a lot of people are using Outlook and they're only synchronizing their email. And the struggles that those people have is in a team environment, they can't view each other's calendars, they can't share contacts, and they don't get the other benefits that they really want to be able to work better. So the next option is the next upgrade, which is Exchange. And basically what Exchange does, it gives each user a mailbox. And a mailbox includes the email, the contacts, calendar, tasks, notes, reminders. And that does a full synchronizing with multiple computers, devices, smartphones, tablets, everything. And it works really good for um, especially one person. That's a lot of you know one person businesses call me for it. Because they are sick of third party apps like iCloud and Outlook.com and you know using... Um, other third-party tools to synchronize that break and I can tell you that if you're using iCloud and call me to fix something it can be two hours and at that point you might as well upgrade to exchange and have a better system that's not going to break so often so some of the benefits of exchange outside of the synchronizing is you do get um, even like your drafts will synchronize and you get to use the out of office feature and if you're on like a team environment, you can share calendars with each other and use the scheduler so you can see um, everybody else's calendar before you schedule an event. And um, the, a lot of people like sharing their contacts now too because you might have a, a database of you know clients and stuff, vendors, and everybody wants to view each other's uh, data. And uh, so if you go to purchase this from Microsoft, there's a few ways I'll try to explain. Now if you already have Office, like 2010 and you're happy with it um, you can just purchase exchange only I recommend of course using my vendor because they do awesome support as I talked about and the price for exchange is four dollars and ninety five cents a month through my vendor I believe with my, with Microsoft it's I think four dollars a month so what I try to tell people is I only work with my vendor actually so it's just four dollars and ninety five cents a month <laughs> and because I'm a one-person show if you ever need night and weekend support with your exchange account, then you can call my vendor. They're open 24 hours a day, and that's my backup for them. Um, if you purchase the Office 365 like business premium, uh, exchange is included in that with the Office Suite and the SharePoint and the OneDrive, of course. But a lot of people don't know this, is that if you buy the Microsoft's version, exchange doesn't just magically happen. Okay, it's not like you buy it and poof, it just works. They give you a temporary, like free account. It's not temporary, but it's a free account, which is like your domain dot on Microsoft dot com. And you can use that, but then you're not getting your real email, which is your dot da da dot com through that. So it's kind of like you have to have somebody do the migration. And Microsoft does not do the migrations. Um, so usually you have to find a technician like myself or another company to do it for you. And um, some of my other clients sometimes have called and said, well, we had a big company do it and it's a big mess now and it took seven, eight days to get the migration done. And so I'm just going to warn you that make sure you do your homework before you hire a company to find out, you know, what snags can happen because if your email is down during a migration, it can really cause some problems for you and your business. So if you're watching this video, you know, and you're just getting some price points, I'll let you know that my migrations are 250 per person, all inclusive. Um, I do excellent, what I call uh, professional grade migrations. Other companies, you know, I don't know what they charge, but uh, I don't have contracts. So you don't get, you know, you don't have to pay a monthly fee with me. You just pay the one fee then you're done. And since I go through my vendor, you pay them the fee for that. Okay, I think I covered everything for exchange here. Of course, if you have more questions, uh, feel free to shoot me an email, lisa at callthatgirl.biz. And I'm also gonna put a link below 
to a little snippet of a video that I have as part of a series that will explain exchange a little bit better. Okay, see you in the next video.